now that we have our rim finished, if we zoom in, you can see I fixed those minor problems. There are some still some minor things we could adjust, like the fact that this is not really a rounded line, but I'm not going to worry about it too much because from a distance it's hard to tell and I don't think it's all that important so now that we're basically done with this and by the way I saved this as number 11 but now that we're basically done with this I'm gonna go to file and export as and we're gonna want to save this on our desktop in our low poly car folder and I guess we can we can probably just leave the name McLaren rims 11 so that we know that this is the 11th version and then we're just gonna click export and mine's a PNG you're gonna want it to be PNG because that will keep the transparency that we have and that's really important so make sure it stays as a PNG and then click export and then click export again keeping all the default settings so for now we're done with GIMP we can go ahead and close it and open up Blender. I've already opened up Blender. This is where we left off when we left Blender before. So I'm going to close GIMP real quick. Make sure you save it. You shouldn't have a star at the top. It should be saved with no star. I've actually got two files, but this is my other one that I don't really need anymore. So. I'm just going to close this. It's going to ask me if I want to discard the changes on this one because I didn't save this one. I'm going to discard them because I don't need them. Then open up Blender just like we had before. And to get this rim texture in, we're going to go over here and bring this up a little. If you can't, if your texture tab's not open right now, you can go up to this top bar, middle mouse and drag to move it around. Click on your texture tab and then you want to left click over here on this to select a new texture slot and then click new. Now we're going to go down and click open. and it's already got me in the right spot it's on my desktop low poly car and it's McLaren rims 11 and then click open you can see our rim texture over here in our texture panel our tools panel for texture painting so you have to be in texture paint to see this We've got our texture here, so I'm going to left click on it and select my rim texture. Now what I'm going to do is move the view around and click on this button to enable face selection. And I'm just going to start right clicking and then shift right clicking to select all of these faces and then we're gonna click on this 3D thing and change it to stencil and now you can see our crazy big <laughs> rim texture when you hover your mouse over this area to kinda change that I'm gonna click image aspect and I guess that actually didn't do anything so I'm gonna hold shift and then right click and drag my texture to a smaller size something like this I'm gonna press 3 on the number pad 
to go to side view and shift and middle mouse to pan my view and I'm just gonna keep resizing this texture by holding shift and right clicking and trying to center it on this wheel which can be a little difficult but do the best that you can so the way I design this is that this outer darker part is actually part of the tire and not the rim itself so it's okay to have this a little overlapped beyond the actual tire but you do want to try to center this as much as possible by right clicking and right clicking will allow you to move this texture and shift right clicking will allow you to scale the texture until you have something that fits like this and then you can go over here and change your radius to like a hundred for example and we're gonna want a white color but I actually think a more gray color works better but I'm gonna show you why real quick we're just gonna use a pure white to start out and paint over this area and then go down here and turn our stencil off by changing this from from stencil to anything other than stencil and I'm also gonna real quick turn off the face selection so now I'm gonna zoom out twice and it's kind of important to remember how many times you're zooming out because we're gonna zoom back in in a minute so I zoomed out twice with my middle mouse and you can well I'm gonna do couple more times so four just keep keep track basically so that you don't have to rescale your image and don't pan your view at all so don't do shift in middle mouse otherwise you're gonna have to line things up again but now you can take a look at this and I think it's kind of a little too bright for our car so I'm gonna have to darken it a bit which is actually fairly simple so I'm going to press 3 on the number pad, zoom in a couple times till I think I have the right amount of zoom, and then do Control Z to undo that painting. Click on this again to get face selection back. Turn this back to stencil. And I guess I got to zoom in one more time. and to darken it all you have to do is darken this and then you're all set you just paint again and get out of face selection and turn your stencil off take a look again and I think that little white I don't know if you can see it but that little like white part there that's actually part of the grid floor I think maybe not no there's something going on there I think maybe but I'll take a look at that but yeah you can mess around with the color and that's all I really wanted to show you right now is how to do this and how to texture this so we're gonna go ahead and save our details texture again we're just gonna go to image save his image we didn't change a whole lot um, I guess this is the one I want to save over it's been a little while <laughs> details redo I'm gonna take a look at it real quick but yeah make sure you save your texture and I'll, I'll save mine well actually I'll just look at this this is probably the one I want to paint over yeah this is this is the one I guess so I'll just go to image save as image and save over this one well actually I'll just I'll just for the sake of it change it to number two just to be safe because I don't want to lose anything so I'm gonna change the numbers at the end to two then save as image 
and then we'll save our blender file so go to file save so there shouldn't be a star up here and there shouldn't be a star over here after that you're all set for whatever reason my texture kind of messed up like I thought it was a grid floor at first but it's actually the texture that's like giving me a little problem right here so if something like that happens to you you can just go back to the face selection I still have my tire selected we're just gonna close this real quick this texture we're gonna click this X and we're gonna choose a white color and then I'm gonna press 3 on the number pad to go to side view and we're just gonna fill this in with a white color now to basically get rid of it and start over then I'm gonna go back to a darker color like I had before go back down get my rim texture change it to stencil and we're gonna do the same thing again we're just gonna right click to move this shift and right click to scale it this is just to fix any problems if you had a problem with your texture sometimes it'll scale it weird like in the X or Y direction like this or actually it looks like it's rotating it in the wrong direction that's really weird but yeah if that ever happens you can either I don't know if reset transform does it I guess that actually does but it was rotating for some reason in the wrong direction but yeah just use one of these two buttons and that'll fix it and then you can scale it again it's kind of annoying but you know it's one of those things you just get used to doing and then you try to center this thing something like that and then scale it a little more once you're happy you're gonna fill it in and then click this to get out of that looks really dark actually I don't know if I want I'm gonna change this real quick and take a look do I want it that dark? Probably not. I'm going to brighten it a little. Just a little. Control Z to undo that. Go back to your face selection. Get your stencil back zoom out to the correct position and paint again but this will get rid of that little error that I had where there was like a white line like right here for some unknown reason then once this is done I had one more thing I wanted to show you so I'm gonna get out of face select and close my stencil or just yeah we're gonna have to close the stencil anyway so just close your stencil that's it for your rim looks nice you zoom in it's got good detail but what I wanted to show you is because our back tires are bigger than the front tires you actually have this white line here and you might be like why is the white line there well that's because it is bigger than the front tires and it's because we need to add some bleed on our texture to make sure that it gets covered up it's not a perfect fix but it'll fix it so we're gonna go over here on the right side here and zoom in with the mouse wheel we're gonna need a smaller brush something like two pixels maybe so change it to two pixels and we want like this straight line color that's the color we want so we're gonna just hover over that color press S or is that the color we want I think we want like this tire tread color so I'm gonna or this this part right here so hold S and that'll get the the color for the color selection S is the hotkey so get this color go over here change this to the line brush zoom out until you can see this full area here 
and it's this uh, you can see that the UVs kind of have a small extra area here like this one to the left this line to the left is the the front tires and the line to the right is the back tires that's why there's a white part here because the back tires never actually got painted so we're gonna just try to somewhere about here left click and drag and then hold alt to make a straight line and then let go and you'll see it kind of fades away but we're gonna have to do that maybe a couple times just like that to get rid of it that actually worked out really rather nice I think but then again you still see a little uh, white there and you might be like well we just fixed it why is it still like that but the answer is that again these are bigger tires and uh, we have to kinda mess with this part of the thing as well but I'm just checking real quick on the front yeah there's still some stuff right here that we're gonna have to fix so in order to fix the rest of it what you're gonna do is zoom out on this and we actually have to do it over here we're gonna add some bleed over here as well so we want to get this black color so hover over it press s to get this color still keep it on the line keep it on the stroke method as line and change the radius to 5 pixels and we're gonna just add a little extra bleed on the end just go around each straight line making sure that there is enough overlap so that we get rid of all that white and things look nice from all angles and there's that so now if we take a look hopefully that is gone so now looking at my tire I really don't see any any white spots on the edges where there were some before on this other side there's gonna be because we haven't colored the inside of the tire yet so it's gonna be white of course and that's fine we'll worry about that when we get to the inside of the tire but I just wanted to show you how to fix the this part of the tire so now they all should look good just double check them make sure they look good make sure you're happy with your rims you can always repaint your rims again if you need to the bleed will stay there so don't worry about it and that should be that I'm just gonna go ahead make sure you save your texture again go to image save as image I'm gonna save over this one this time because I know I just created it and I'm not gonna lose anything that I don't mind losing then go to file and save your blender file